So let's get to it. Yo, what up, everybody? Cardboard Moses, would you welcome? Looking clean today, I know. I know, I know. I uh, put my best face on today, just for you guys. 2019 Heritage Baseball, three box break number four. Yeah, I think that's what it is. Yeah, that's what it says on my schedule, anyway. All right. And that's what the sheet says as well. So, yep. If it smells like a duck, looks like a duck, quacks like a duck, tastes like a duck, it's probably a duck. It ain't no mongoose, that's for sure. I was watching, actually, uh, a, a documentary on mongoose, and those things do not play. Yeah, I think if I could be any animal, I might choose to be a mongoose. All right, the glare on this is kind of bothering me. If it's bothering me, it's probably bothering you. That's a lot better. There we go. How is everybody today? It's Friday Junior. Or Thursday. I like to call it Friday Junior. How's everybody doing? I'm in a great mood. Mainly because uh, I got the weekend off. And I'm uh, going places for the weekend. Spring break and all that good stuff, so should be some fun. I, I predict lots of alcoholic beverages being consumed over the following uh, 72 hours or so. But what about enough about me? What about y'all? Y'all got any plans for the weekends? Aside, of course, from ripping all the NT hotness, all that national treasures that's coming out tomorrow. St. Paddy's Day. What is that? Oh, that's right, James. You are an Uber driver. What do you, uh, you know, since you, you can more or less make your own hours, is there like a specific time you work or do you kind of just like freelance it every day or whatever? Or do you have like a set schedule that, you, that you've made based upon your, you know, observations or whatever scientific method you may or may not have applied to it? Weekend, summertime, 6 to 3. That's a pretty good time. All right, let's have a good time here. Let's see if we can get some major mojo. Good old heritage. We still have like a few boxes of this stuff left. I think we're gonna wrap it up over the weekend. Yeah, Sunday's gonna looks like it's the last heritage stuff on Sunday. Did some archives last night. That was fun. Kind of reminds me of this, except archives a lot more colorful. We got 2014 Prison Football and 2014 Bowman Draft in the store. I think we can knock out both cases tonight. Not to mention we do have those uh, NT Spot giveaways there. I see some gold. And there's the gold. Just, uh, wow. Justin Smoke with the sweet gold for the Blue Jays. That's number three of five. Wow. That is officially the lowest numbered card I think I've ever pulled in uh, in Heritage. Like, actually, I lied. I pulled the Aaron Judge 101 last year. But that was last year. This year, 305 is the lowest. 
That's pretty good. Shout out to the Blue Jays. So, JMS, are, are you going to be handing out uh, pamphlets or not? Not pamphlets, but like uh, little surveys at the beginning of the uh, of the ride. Most people just want the driver to just shut up. Personally, I get creeped out by the noise, like or the lack of. So you know, I I purposely make conversation until I you know until I can more or less read whether or not they're annoyed. Then it, you know, usually I could tell if somebody doesn't want to speak to me. It's a gift I've acquired over time, and uh, you know, I can more or less tell. And, and if the the signal goes off, then you know, I I get the hit and I just shut up. Hey, a little patcheroni for Jameson Tyone of the Pirates. What's up, Jimbo? Good day, mate. David, how are you? The worst trips are the quiet ones that are, uh, yeah. That's that's probably why, like, I, I don't know. I just, I don't like short, you know, I don't, it just freaks me out. Altuve, that don't freak me out. Action image. Astros, pretty sweet. I just feel like, you know, if I'm talking, it helps the time fly. Helps the time go by. A little, a little bit quicker. And considering time is relative, I mean, you know, that makes sense. Box number two. What's the longest drive you've ever had, JMS? That's like one. Ooh, nice. That's like the top thing I ask drivers. Is like, what's the longest ride you've ever done? Some dude told me that he uh, he drove like a good twelve hours or something, which I think is crazy. Christian Yelich Brewers little poster there, six thirty. It's pretty sweet. Delaware to New York is only four hours? Wow, that's not bad. I don't know if I'd be able to do a four-hour, like, ride, though, with a complete stranger. I'd be freaking out after, like, five minutes. Whoa, Jimbo, that's not good. So what's going on there, man? Is there any way you can fight that? Get that out of there. So Jimbo got to get back on that horse, man. How are you feeling? Though? Are you are you back to a hundred percent or or what? I was, yeah, that was my next question. What, if you don't mind me asking, what's a four-hour fare looking like, JMS? Because for a four-hour trip, well, I'm glad you got a nice tip. I was about to say, four-hour drive? What? I, dude, I don't even know if I would do half an hour. That's too much human interaction for me. So, yeah, that was my next question. So, the did they cover the gas as well? 
Or does Uber cover that? Like, I, I have so many questions. That's crazy, though. A four-hour drive, and then you got to go back home. Or did you, like, or, or are you able to take, like, little Ubers in, like, or, or is it, like, is Uber, like, statewide? Like, if you Uber in Delaware... Can you Uber in New York as well? Because that'd be kind of cool. You know, while you're there, just do a couple fares and hey, make some extra money on the way home. Ah, the purple hot box. It was, it was bound to happen. I bought one of these per case. There's the relic. Molina for the Cardinals. On the way back, you cover all expenses. Oh, wow. Dude, yeah. See, just for that alone, I don't know if I would have took taken that fare. Or maybe you did it as like a... As like a notch on the old belt kind of deal, maybe. You need a chauffeur license in New York? Really? Blob, how are you? So Jason texts me back. Uh, it doesn't look like he's going to go live early. Uh, you know, like I would. Hey, the action name is Jacob the Ground Mets. Which is no shot at him at all. The man has a baby girl, a family. You know, and he, he's got a whole deal to deal with there, so don't blame the man at all. He's going to send emails out and uh, social media blasts and all that good stuff when he does go live. Which I can only assume is going to be at the regular 5 o'clock. You know, while his, while his wife works during the day, I can only assume he takes care of the little baby girl. And then, you know, whatever. The purple hot box. The Marlins had a pretty good game today against the Astros. I know it's only spring training, but I'm surprised at uh, how competitive we've, we've looked lately. Again, I know it's spring training, but hey, let, let, let me be optimistic. The Marlins will surely uh, let me down very quickly. They usually do. Carpenter for the Cardinals. Ten nine nine nine. Ah, the good old deductibles. But yeah, what would suck at that point though, you know, is, is the miles on the car. This is a Met, and this is an A. Those do have teams, so put that over there. Glay Bear Purple, Yankees. Well, Blob, I have 2014 Prison Football and 2014 Bowman Draft Baseball. That's what I got. A black. Use Mato Petit. That's a mouthful of a name right there. For the A's, the black variation. No, wrong stack. Purples. Move this stuff aside so I got some space. Uh, yeah, Louise. I just I, I have to post the other half uh, on.
on this in the store but it is a full it's a full case but we split them in halves so we have number 35 which is actually in the store six boxes of that number 36 is not in the store I'll throw that in there uh, once I'm done with this by the way how are you Louise so I have 2014 Prism Football and 2014 Bowman Draft Baseball. A little blast from the past to hold us over until we get that new hotness tomorrow, which is NT Football, which we already have in the store. And uh, spoiler alert, you won't see any of those breaks on eBay. So if you would like a chance at the Browns, you know, the biggest money team, and right now, probably the hottest team in the NFL. Even though it's the offseason. Buy a team and you get a shot at the Browns too. Not to mention, in uh, two of our breaks, prison football and in, uh, what's the other one? Bowman Draft Baseball. Two hitless spots. We'll get NT spots guaranteed you're either going to get a team and a full case break or you know or uh or, or well you're going to get a team regardless you'll either get a team in a full case break or a random team in a one box break of nt or a full case break of nt either way you're getting a team in an nt break if you go hitless and that's two Hitler spots in uh, in Prism and in Bowman Draft. Nice. Yeah, man. 2014 is a pretty good year. Gurley for the Rams, I believe. Aaron Donald as well. I think, Ram I think Gurley was 14. Who else? I think Melvin Gordon was 2014. Mike Evans for the Bucks. Odell for the Giants. 2014 was a pretty good year. Clowney for the Texans as well. Wow, imagine if the Texans drafted Khalil Mack instead of Clowney. I mean, don't get me wrong, Clowney's good, but ain't nowhere near Khalil Mack's level. Got in this last box. Good luck, everyone. Especially those without a hit. Has there been any crazy free agency news today in, in the NFL? Uh, no, Blob, this, this is it. Jose Leclerc, the black uh, border Rangers. Maybe he is, Louise. I, don't, I mean, we, we'd have to look at the checklist. But maybe he does have, I mean, I don't know what year he is. I think he was 13. He's been in the league for a little minute. Nice. Action image for Mike Trout. Angels. There you go, David. Worst case scenario. You get a shot at some NT, baby. Nice. 
my Dolphins haven't really made moves. Which is kind of annoying me because we, we got money to play with. But I know we're rebuilding. It's just, I don't know, it's frustrating. Davis for the A's to 99. Kind of disappointed Le'Veon Bell sat out a whole year only to get paid less money. But then again, I'm not surprised that happened. What's up, Francisco? That's what I figured, man. I figured, you know, we are rebuilding. Oh, nice. There's the auto for Lou Brock of the Cardinals. Very nice. On-card autograph. Pretty sweet. Well, at least, uh, so, so at least he's making more money guaranteed. So there is that. But I thought he'd be closer to $20 million a year. But alas, it was not meant to be. Hopefully he balls out for the Jets, unless they play the Dolphins. And that's going to do it. we still got these box stoppers to open here. We have Ed Kirkpatrick for the Royals. Right there. What about the girly situation? I don't know. There was a situation. I was thinking about that the other day. Like, why did he not get more touches during the Super Bowl? Was he hurt? Was he hurt or something? Who did the Steelers pick up? That I think Golden Tate. Where did he end up? I think Golden Tate signed with somebody. And the, uh, oh, I'm sorry. I actually need this. So in the box topper, we have the Acuna hotness right there. Uh, that's actually not an autograph, okay? But let's keep that between me and you, Braves uh, winner. You can tell your friends that's an actual autograph. But uh, it's, it's, it's not a real autograph. Gurley got arthritis? Is that what's going on? Oh no, that's that sad sucks. That sucks for that guy. Alright, so as far as these here, I'm gonna give one to each team on the card. So for example, one to the Orioles, one to the A's, one to the Cubs, one to the Rockies, one to the Brewers, one to the Rock you know, two Rockies there twice, so each team will get at least one of these uh, duplicates, alright? All that's left is to random these three here, which don't have an actual team assignment. So, let's roll the die. We're going to go five times in the random. Let's go ahead and pull that up. Alright, so there's random org. We're going to do the old list randomizer. Copy the list over. There it is. Got all teams there. Going five times, the top team gets these uh, flashback cards here. And the money shot five. Boom. Five times right there. The top, we got the Padres. So, the Padres will be receiving those uh, flashback cards. Damn, that sucks to hear about Todd Gurley. Was that is that like breaking news or something? Because I, I I have never heard of that. And the flashbacks go to the Padres. Done and done. Whatever we got closest, whatever's closest slash cheapest to filling, uh, Francisco. Uh, but first, let me recap what we got here. So, we have two relics, Molina Cardinals, Tyone Pirates, all right. We also have uh, three action images, Trout Angels, DeGrom Mets, Altuve Astros and a gold Justin Smoke for the Blue Jays, which is number three of five. That's pretty sweet. 
And an autograph for Lou Brock Cardinals. And that was the break. Thank you very much.